Okay, next we are going to explain exceptions to the octet rule. Okay, so there are three category of exceptions to the octet rule. The first one is incomplete octet, expanded octet, and odd number electrons. Okay, exceptions to octet rule means that the central atom does not have eight electrons okay they might have less than eight electrons they might have more than eight electrons or they might have odd number of electrons okay so which one is incomplete of that certain atoms such as be beryllium boron and aluminium cannot achieve octet configurations that means they have less than eight electrons so in general um, elements in group 2 and group 13 is categorized as incomplete octets specifically in period 2 and period 3 these atoms has less metallic character and they do not donate electrons but share electrons for example bf3 so we are going to draw the Lewis structure BF3 after this. But now look, let's look at the expanded octet. The one that categorized as expanded octet is the elements from period 3 onwards. Um, they have more than 8 valence electrons in the compounds. This is due to the existence of empty d orbitals that can be used in bonding. The central atoms may have 10 or even 12 valence electrons, for example, PCL5. And the last one, but at least, is odd number electrons. This is due to the presence of odd number of electrons around the central atoms. It could be 3, 5 or 7 electrons, for example, NO. So let's look into more detail about the incomplete of that. The example is BF3. So in order to draw the Lewis structure, we start with the total number of valence electrons. B has 3 electrons, F has 3 atoms in a molecule, so there are 21 electrons. So 24 electrons in total. Next, we draw the skeletal structure of B, F3. B is going to be the central atom and F is the terminal atom. Okay, so 6 electrons is used for the bonding. So that means there are electrons, 18 electrons left. And these electrons is used to complete the octet of the terminal atoms. So there are no electrons left. And this is the Lewis structure of BF3. Let's look at the central atom that is B. It has only 6 electrons, which is not an octet. So we categorize B as the incomplete octet. Okay? So this molecule is incomplete octet. Because the central atom B has less than 8 electrons. Alright, next, expanded octet, PCL5. Okay? So we draw the Lewis structure PCL5, P is equal to 5 valence electron. Cl it has 5 Cl in this molecule, so 35. So in order it's 40 electrons. So we start with the skeletal structure PCL5. So in total, there are 10 electrons involved in the bond and 30 electrons left. We use that to complete the terminal atoms. So there are no electrons left. So this is the Lewis structure of PCL5. So now, this is the expanded of that. Why? Because the central atom P has more than 8 electrons. If you look at carefully at the central atom, there are 10 electrons. So it is expanded of that. The last one is odd number electrons. For example, NO2, the number of valence electron is 5 for nitrogens. Oxygen has 12. So in total, there are 17 electrons. We draw the skeletal structure and as the central atom, oxygen as the terminal atom. Okay, so we use 4 electrons for the bonding. So there are 13 electrons left. 
and then 12 electrons is used for the terminal and there is one electrons left so what we are going to do with one electron here we are going to put that on the central atom that is nitrogen so the central atom has five electrons and it can make up to seven electrons in order to form seven electrons around the nitrogens we use lone pair from oxygen to form a bond between nitrogen and oxygen so there are now seven electrons around the nitrogen since it has odd number that is seven so it is categorized as odd number electron okay so that's it thank you